As kids, when we wanted games and pizza, we had Chuck E. Cheese. And when we got a little older, we wanted games and beer. There were places like Dave and Buster's. Right. So today, though, a new option opens in St. Louis Park. It's called Punch Bowl Social, and I kind of wondered what sets them apart. What I found was a fun concept in an industrial chic space and cocktails worthy of being Mike's Mix. I've done large-scale pool halls, and then I've done some small, independent, award-winning um, restaurant concepts. And what I noticed is that there really no one had really taken the boutique restaurant and applied it to a large-scale uh, venue that uh, that serves robust uh, beverage program and all the gaming together. CEO Robert Thompson opened the first Punch Bowl Social in Denver. Since then, it's expanded to Portland, Austin, Denver, Detroit, Cleveland, Indy. Now, the shops at West End. The concept, entertainment, which the company says is how to go out right. So on a given night, what do you hope people do when they come here? You know, it's very sticky at Punchbowl Social. So you'll come here and you might come in just to have a drink. Um, and next thing you know, uh, you've made your way into the diner and you're having dinner and then people are bowling. The food is the real deal, cooked from scratch and overseen by top chef judge and James Beard award winner Hugh Atchison. We, we serve breakfast till uh, three every day and then we do a robust Saturday and Sunday brunch. Um, but of course in any diner you're going to have a great pastry and dessert program. And The drinks range from classic to playful. We make a lot of adult milkshakes behind this bar as well. Right, so adult milkshake is uh, milkshake plus booze, right? Milkshake plus booze okay. and you know it might it might be uh, garnished with caramelized bacon or something along those lines. Patrick Wilson oh, okay. is in charge of the bar yep. program um, which at a place called Punch Bowl Social better include some punches. Here you see one of our punch bowls so a big social thing so we do single serving, four serving, eight serving bowls. Okay. Um, our old school drinks are classic cocktails. Old RDAs, old fashions, mules. Uh, the new school drinks are our signature drinks. Like El Diablo, a spin on a margarita that Patrick showed me how to make. So first I have some uh, fresh cucumber. Okay. I'm gonna give that a nice hard muddle here. Yeah, it adds a cool freshness element yep. to the cocktail. And then what's our base spirit? Uh, Camarina Reposado Tequila here. Add fresh squeezed lime juice, as well as our house-made cardamom syrup. We take ground cardamom and make a, a syrup out of that. Okay. And that's gonna add a cool spice element. Yeah. You shake all of that over ice. Use a tea strainer to double strain the drink, keeping the cucumber pulp there out of your go. glass. Beautiful. El Macho. Shall we try? Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Hmm, I love that. You like nice that? Nice and bright. Thank you. The cucumber comes yeah. right through. So does the little spicy cardamom. That's really Just well balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, Rachel, the El Macho is uh, $9 a glass. Pretty competitive. In fact, uh, a little mm -hmm. under some of the some of the right. downtown areas. Uh, Punchbowl Social. They're having a grand opening event tonight from seven until nine. Tickets are ten bucks, and they include complimentary food, wow. punch, uh, cocktails, beer, and wine. And 100% of those proceeds go to No Kids Hungry. Uh, no Kid Hungry. Doors open to the public at nine o'clock. For today's recipe, I'll be posting that a little later this morning at wccocom Mix. That's a really good deal for food. I think so. Wow.